today the 2nd of December 2022. Uh, we'll go through this new Google Sheet. I'm really happy that many of you use it. We've been discussing with some of you. I'm going to make some changes according to, to your needs. Probably I'm going to add some extra tabs underneath uh, with different variations depending on uh, what most of you want. But uh, for most of you, let's uh, go through it and let's see how you can use it. So for today, let's check, for example, what kind of uh, NBA matches there are and uh, see uh, how we can use it and what kind of predictions we can get with that. So if we click on sport over here and then just basketball, then we can go today is the second. So according to the, the time here in Sweden, um, at around one o'clock tomorrow morning, the first match uh, start over here. Uh, so the NBA matches, you can see there till here. Um, yeah, and there is a Argentinian basketball in between. But let's go and see. Uh, Charlotte Hornets uh, against uh, Washington Wizards, which is the first match at one o'clock. Uh, let's see. If we go here on the first matches, we see that uh, generally Washington Wizards is a better team, they say, according to the wi their winning status. So they've been winning 61%. Uh, while at the last four matches, it seems that the Charlotte Hornets are better by 62% uh, against 38%. Uh, so let's see what's happening there. So here we see that if we compare uh, the home versus away matches, we see that for the whole season, they seem to be equal teams. But if we see the same thing at the last four matches, we see that uh, Charlotte Hornet is a much better team. So if we compare, if we combine all those, you see that uh, generally Washington Wizards was a better team, but uh, the last four matches, so the form is with uh, Charlotte Hornets. Uh, but this is according to winning percentages. So let's see what's happening with um, the point percent, the, the point averages. You see that generally they're equal teams. Um, the numbers say that Washington Wizards um, may be winning like two points, uh, even the last four matches. Uh, so it's kind of hard to predict. It's going to be an equal game. According to wins, they say that Charlotte Hornets are a bit better. But let's see how you, we can use now the numbers. So here, uh, if we have in mind that Charlotte Hornets have the form right now, uh, the average projected score says that Washington Wizards are supposed to win by two points. And then if we check the total um, projected points, the total will be around 226 or 227 points. Um, uh, generally, uh, if we check the total matches, 223 points. If we check the total matches, but home versus away, it seems even less, 218. But the last four matches for both teams, we see that we get bigger numbers. So this 226, which is the average, tends to go um, higher because this is what the form tell us so let's see how we can use the numbers so we have like minus 2 and we have 226 so if we go here we open bit explorer we can go to handicap first uh, we try to, to see what is the line for that so the line is where the um, um, odds for the home team and the um, odds for the away team are um, almost the same. So if we go a bit down, you'll see that we should find somewhere 190 to 190. So this is it. So we see that the numbers here, the, the line is at plus 3. Uh, we see that we have, uh, we're really, really close to that because our line was 2.2. So we were predicting that the away team is about to win 2.2, but we know that Charlotte Hornets are actually better the last matches. 
Uh, and we can see here that they say that the Washington Wizards are supposed to win by three points. So if I was a, if I was to um, to pick a side, I would go for uh, the Charlotte Hornets. So I would go for this 190. But um, we're looking for bigger differences. So this bigger margin. So this three points or like a really small difference that we have. Um, it's not something that I would say. So if it was like five or ten points, like difference between our projected number and um, the bookmaker's number, I would definitely pick it. So this 190, I think that this has the value, but I wouldn't pick it for now. Uh, let's see the over. Uh, and so let's see the select total right now. We're looking for the same thing for equal uh, odds. Let's see where the line is. It seems that the line is around here, 222.5 points. Uh, what we have is like 226. This is what we said. Um, but we see that regarding the form, the, the teams tend to score more the last matches. So 229, 236. The average is 226. Still bigger than 222 that they have over there um, so if we check that again so definitely uh, the over here like 197 uh, depending on uh, which bookmaker you choose but i would go with the total over here but in order for me to pick uh, to pick it, I would if the difference were was bigger than seven, eight. But this is up to you, and you, you need to do your. Um, you you need to go through the numbers like history and follow this um, projection for some time, and then you can decide if plus five, plus six, or plus seven is a good difference for you. Um, so th this is how you can use the software in order to. To the projections uh, in order to be able to judge uh, if if a bet is good or not. But um, if you go through all the matches, you will see that uh, the lines are really, really close to what we have over here and the differences are small. That means it's a good model, even, even just averages. It's not like any uh, algorithm behind, behind those numbers. You see that um, those numbers are really really close so even by just using them uh, so this is what the 90 percent of the people that uh, bet uh, do e even if you just use those numbers you can have a much better um, prediction a much better bet you can find value uh, than what you did before uh, but you can still use the numbers to put them in your own algorithm and have better better much better predictions so uh, um, the algorithm can find the margin for you. You don't even have to check all the numbers and compare it with the lines and generally do that stuff. Uh, so let's see. Uh, next match, Atlanta Hawks against Denver, Denver Nuggets. We see that generally Denver Nuggets are a better team. Not a better team. It, it seems to be equal, a bit better. But for the last four matches, Denver Nuggets, uh, we see that they're much better. So. Uh, there they have the form right now uh, even be uh, if we compare home versus away matches we still have a big difference um, if we check the points uh, generally yes Denver Nuggets are a bit better always um, it says minus two points let's see um, here is 228 uh, the total projected score, so let's see, 2.2, if we go to the handicap, let's go down here, let's find the line for that, the line is here, is plus 2 points uh, for the away team, so we're really really close with that, you can see over here we were minus 2.2, so look those are just averages uh, and see how close we are with the with the bookmakers uh, so this is not um, a math that we can bet of course uh, here we have 228 uh, let's see the total to if we go here
we see that the line is at 231 over here, 231.5, and we have something 228. We have only three points difference. If it was like six, seven, eight, or 10, it would be much better. But let's see over the number. You can see that the number is mostly at the same, exactly the same uh, um, point. So it's like 228, eight, eight, and 30. So it doesn't go much uh, up or down. Uh, so maybe uh, we tend to be closer to 200 and under to take the under at the 200 on this one but even that would wouldn't be a proper bet for us let's see one more um, and then we can just uh, close the video here so let's see Milwaukee Bucks against Los Angeles Lakers this seems to be a really really nice match because the Lakers are getting better I think okay so we see that the Milwaukee Bucks are of course a much better team, generally up to now. Uh, the last four matches though, there it seems to be equal teams, like 50-50%. Uh, home versus away against for the total uh, match is, is like 80% much better. While home versus away, the Milwaukee Bucks seems to be better. Uh, so we still think that Milwaukee Bucks are going to win, uh, even if the Los Angeles Lakers are much better. Uh, the last few matches um, and let's see the point here which seems that um, Milwaukee Bucks is better here um, like eight points mm. the points um, don't uh, do not show this big difference uh, only 1.7 points for the Milwaukee Bucks uh, and the total 227 um, but generally, we think that Milwaukee Bucks um, are winning more. Uh, maybe not by many points. Um, and let's check also the, um, the total. So let's see Milwaukee Bucks over here. Let's find uh, what is the line for the Milwaukee Bucks. Okay, so it's here is uh, eight points for the Milwaukee Bucks to win, um, and we have like 1.4, was it to 1.7? Um, so what would be the best bet for us here because it's like six, seven points different would be to to take this number over here, 1.97 with Lakers. So the Milwaukee Bucks would win, but we say that the Milwaukee Bucks will not win by such a big. Um, margin so maybe this is a better bet for us um, although that Milwaukee Bucks we see that they're winning uh, although they're a much better team um, I wouldn't I wouldn't take this bet but it, it seems that the value is with the Lakers uh, here uh, Lakers losing less than eight points I say um, and let's check the over under Let's see where the line is. Okay, so it's somewhere here, 228.5 points. Uh, we have 227 points. We're really, really close again. So if you go through the matches, this is the procedure, or you can have like your own Excel file. You can import my numbers there, or you can just pull the numbers from there. Uh, or if you have like an algorithm, you can just um, copy this link over here, uh, find the numbers, take them and make all the transformation, compare it with the prices, with the lines. It can All of it can be done automatically. Um, so, is there any other match here? Little Boogie Bucks, Memphis Grizzlies, uh, Phoenix Suns. Maybe this is an interesting match over here, Golden State Warriors against Chicago Bulls. Chicago Bulls are not very good. Uh, but both teams, uh, they're looking forward to win, so it would be a good match to watch over here. Uh, but anyway, this is it. Um, I hope you enjoy. We'll go through it in uh, more in detail um, in next videos. Uh, maybe um, I can discuss, I can make like a poll with uh, the um, changes that you propose and maybe we can discuss um, 
what you want me exactly to do and if you want me to make any calculated column that will help you even better. But generally I don't want to make it uh, so precise that uh, it will be convenient for everybody to use it um, and play with the numbers and use them the way you want. Anyway, good luck, see you next time.